Hello, let's talk about the foot x-ray anatomy. The foot is divided into three major sections and those three major sections are divided by two large articulations. The first one is the toe part articulation which divides the hind foot from the midfoot and the second one is the Liz Frank articulation which divides the midfoot from the forefoot. So let's talk about the hind foot. The hind foot is composed of two bones, the talus which is part of the ankle joint and the calcaneus. The talus and the calcaneus form the subtalar joint. The subtalar joint has three facets, the posterior, the medial, and the anterior facet. Of interest, the calcaneus has a bump at the medial aspect of the body, and this is the sustentaculum tali, and as the name notes, it sustains the talus. There is a little hole that we see between the talus and the calcaneus on the oblique views, and that is the sinostarsi, which is usually composed of fat and nerve endings. So now let's talk about the midfoot. The midfoot is composed of five bones, the navicular bone, the three cuneiforms, which is the medial, the intermediate, and the lateral cuneiforms, and the cuboid bone, which is the most lateral of the five bones. The midfoot has several articulations, but three important ones are the telonavicular articulation and calconocubular articulations, which are part of the chopar articulation, but also the navicular and cuneiform articulation. Finally, let's talk about the forefoot. The forefoot contains the five toes of the foot, and for that reason, it has all the metatarsal bones, all the proximal, mid, and distal phalanges. Remember that we also have the sesamoid bones, which in the hallux are pretty important as they bear a lot of the weight of the body. Also in the foot, the first or big toe, we call it the hallux bone, and the rest of the toes we call the lesser toes. So, now you know.